So it's been about a month since our last video on Friend Up, so I thought I'd invite Hogner back for a little, uh, kind of we do a monthly catch up recently and uh, it's always nice to kind of find out what news is going on and where you guys are up to at the moment. So um, how's the last month been? Oh, it's been very busy. Uh, we've been uh, kind of uh, doing both fundraising and uh, putting our project closer towards uh, production um, state. So. So it's been very, very busy. We also um, got new people uh, coming on board in the project. So, so our team grew by uh, by uh, several people. So uh, yeah, it's been a very busy, uh, very busy time. You're on some very strong coffee today, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, not too strong. Not too strong. I'm I'm kind of trying to uh, have it a bit weaker so I can have more of it. <laughs> Sp space it out throughout the day a bit, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, the big news, of course, is that you're up to your third beta now. That's just come out at the time recording this video. So um, what's it been like trying to get this new beta out as well as doing all that? Well, it's been uh, very interesting because uh, we've decided uh, what our first business product is going to be like. And mm -hmm. uh, so we've been doing a lot of work on, the, on that uh, product. And at the same time, uh, we've been um, kind of exploring uh, how our open source version will be used. So we, we've been working on development tools. And uh, so, so basically, um, yeah, it's uh, been a lot of work with uh, practical stuff that's going to be used by customers and then development stuff that's going to be used by open source uh, community developers. What can we expect from Beta 3 then? What's new in there? Well, um, we've used a lot of time on the network uh, speed and on the infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, and on uh, the, the, um, how you deploy uh, uh, software projects inside a friend. So uh, basically, um, uh, for example, uh, Artisan has gotten project management now. And, uh, and the network uh, latency goes down to under 100 milliseconds uh, for each request, which is uh, closer to uh, normal uh, speeds uh, found on the internet on websites and so on. So uh, yeah, it's uh, closing in on a production state and uh, developers will find it much more interesting now, especially after we release our video tutorials. Well, I was thinking before, you know, when we logged on today, um, I just noticed instantly things were a lot more responsive than they previously were um, and you've obviously took steps to ensure that it is a lot more reaction reactive to the user yeah we've uh, set up uh, servers uh, through the amazon cloud so we have a server in asia we have a server in australia we have a server in uh, the eu and we have a server in uh, california right uh, so uh, we still have the, the um, uh, server, you know, the primary server in Norway, but it's been proxied in each of these countries. So you're still going to send the requests to Norway, but uh, all the content like uh, pictures and, and layout code will be downloaded from your, you know, local uh, server. Well, obviously, Friends has been out there in beta form for a couple of versions now. Um, what kind of things are people using it for then? Well, uh, it's mostly, for now, um, a way to communicate and develop. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly for software developers and people who want to chat uh, at the moment. Uh, we have our first business case, which we're developing at the moment, which um, is basically a custom software for a client that will run on our platform. And so in, in that case, uh, our platform is going to be kind of like a bonus uh, as a part of the project, which will allow them to do file management and so on, in addition to using the application. So for right uh, now, um, uh, it's mostly for early adopters. And what they do is basically exploring and chatting together. Well, one thing you're telling me about before, I mean, this has kind of always been something that I know you guys have been interested in, is um, virtual reality. Now, there are a few games that are bundled with Friend at the moment, and you've actually enabled one of these for VR, is that correct? Yes, uh, there's a, a labyrinth game uh, where you move a, a ball through a labyrinth. Uh, it's made using 3JS, which is a, a 3D game engine for uh, web. And, um, you know, back in December um, last year, when uh, the Gear VR was launched, um, it um, you know with, with internet um, 
we immediately tried and uh, tested the friend on it. And over the past uh, months, we've improved it. And uh, right now, it's possible to use a game controller with the Gear VR and play these 3D games or even 2D games um, using FriendUp. So basically, uh, probably for Beta 4, there will be several more games showing off the capabilities. Uh, and there are some very cool um, kind of, how do you call that, unintended uh, consequences of going into the Gear VR platform. For example, it uh, will, for uh, the first time, allow developers to experiment with immersive uh, virtual reality um, games inside of uh, Gear VR in the web uh, browser through um, FriendUp. So you're going to be able to immerse yourself in 3D inside of FriendUp using FriendUp as a launcher and development platform. And it actually works really good, because uh, what you can do if you develop this content yourself is that you can edit the, the game project or the application inside of a friend on your laptop or workstation. And then you can just have your headset you know, kind of mounted on your head like this. So you just have it on your head like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, then you go into your laptop and you uh, do your adjustments. And then you just put on your headset. And then you just renew the session. And then you go straight into the game. And then you just put it on your head again and do modifications. So, so actually, and this is something that, that has uh, shown another strength of Renda, is that you can be in several devices at the same time, quickly jumping from device to device, uh, testing your, your code. So I think, I, and I hope that uh, developers will discover this uh, during the beta three uh, period. And you can obviously deploy that live straight to all your, your people that are playing the game as well, I imagine. Yes, uh, so, so in beta 4, we didn't uh, uh, manage to get it done by beta 3, but in beta 4, our package manager will be uh, uh, ready. And the package manager will allow you to pack your project and put it into the repository, uh, kind of like what I said earlier with uh, our equivalent to Aminet, yeah. um, which will allow you to share your, your software uh, for free or commercially uh, through our store. So people will be able to search up your game and uh, install it in their own desktop and and play around. So yeah, that's what we're hoping for for Beta 4. Well, now that we're into the second quarter of 2016, I imagine like that this year has been like a roller coaster ride for you so far. Um, how are you finding it all then? Oh, I'm I'm really excited about it because um, you know basically in the beginning uh, we were uh, having a lot of risks. We were risking not being able to uh, properly um, uh, develop the technology because it was a new team. It was a fresh idea. Uh, we had the risk of not getting enough funding. We had the risk of not getting enough uh, traction with, with the people abroad and a lot of these type of things. Uh, at the moment, we're in a position where none of the risks turned out to be problems. And so we managed to... Um, work our way through the technology um, and work our way through getting the partners and the funding. And so everything has worked out for us. And uh, right now we're in a position where we have very knowledgeable um, kind of people on board. Uh, we have today managed to uh, secure three salespeople. So we have three salespeople in our organization that will cover Scandinavia and the world. So you know, of course, that David Plessens is taking on the role of, of uh, doing our marketing and, and the sales worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a new guy on board whose name is Tarje Gausel, uh, who is helping us with uh, Scandinavia. He has a mm -hmm. um, background within telecom and IT, and he has a lot of um, you know experience with, with selling um, uh, IT solutions. So how are you finding working with uh, David Pleasance and Colin, obviously the ex-Commodore Managing Directors, who we did have on the last video, if people missed that, I'll pop a link in the description. But how are you finding working with them like a, a month down the line since we announced it? Oh, it's great. Uh, and especially uh, uh, me and uh, David were, uh, you know, uh, in, in the same time zone approximately. So, mm -hmm. so with Colin, it's, uh, of course, the other side of the planet. Uh, but, but me and David uh, are working from day to day uh, during work hours. And uh, it's going really great. Uh, we have a really um, uh, great work relationship. Uh, he really shows his strengths. I can really understand why he did such a good job in Commodore because uh, he's like a machine. 
I mean, I, I get the emails from him at four o'clock, uh, uh, you know, after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> no stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a fantastic guy. Uh, we were recently in uh, England uh, together, yeah. uh, visiting with some companies and, and, uh, and so on. We're going to have a little report of that, um, you know, posted um, probably on our Facebook group uh, as soon as possible. Um, and uh, you know he's he's so nice to work with, uh, and he has such a great network. It's uh, it's fantastic. Have you been meeting some exciting people then that you can talk about? <laughs> well, um, we have met with uh, with um, uh, many exciting people, uh, and uh, like I I talked a little bit about earlier, um, we were um, at the the Tech uh, University in Norway. Um, Doing a lot, meeting a lot of great people, and that has uh, uh, developed uh, since. Uh, additionally, um, we're getting into kind of the IT sector in, in Norway, in the Nordics, uh, and uh, we're going to be really much part of this um, um, IoT uh, industry uh, that's uh, growing here. And um, we have launched our own uh, kind of tech conference which we call Waves of the Future, which will showcase um, demonstrations and, uh, of, of uh, virtual reality technology. Uh, and um, we're also having, of course, friend uh, there in different use cases and international speakers. And it's going to culminate in October with a huge conference here in Stavanger, where we're um, at. Yeah, brilliant. So we also met with uh, some uh, very interesting uh, big companies in, in England, but uh, it's a bit too early to talk about that right now. Watch this space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, what's next for Friend then? What, what are you working on for Beta 4? I know number three just came out, but I know you're, you're always on. <laughs> well, we're going to have more things on the virtual reality. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting access to HTC Vive, uh, which we're also going to be doing some work on. Uh, we're going to have some work done on the Oculus Rift. Uh, basically, this is also part, uh, in part through our Waves of the Future network, where we're um, kind of um, uh, partnering up with uh, a new startup company called Hollow Vision, which works in uh, the virtual reality space. Uh, we're also getting involved with some other virtual reality and augmented reality companies. It might sound really strange if you think about it from the angle that we have a flat uh, two-dimensional uh, desktop environment. But it actually makes much more sense once you try it out yourself. Uh, we have our VR interface, which is maturing um, you know, from week to week. Um, so yeah, um, Beta 4 will be uh, probably the first version where you're going to be able to have a sense of the production um, uh, state um, or production level uh, state of the system. So basically you're going to be able to do everything you do in a normal desktop environment, uh, including you know all the file management, uh, scripting, you're going to be able to do package management, unzipping and zipping packages, moving around. So basically, you know, and you're also going to be able to populate your, your desktop environment with legacy applications. Uh, this haven't been unveiled to our beta testers yet, but uh, we do have uh, a full suite of Windows applications that's running integrated in the desktop environment, and people are going to be able to to activate um, uh, Windows applications. Obviously, this is also something that costs us money, so we're working on trying to you know make this available to the beta testers in a selected uh, way, because we obviously can't give 500 people access to it. <laughs> Not, you know, immediately. So, so basically, uh, a lot of people uh, might be compelled to actually start working and doing work inside a friend by beta, uh, beta 4. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you might be able to do it e even in, in beta 3, but, uh, but uh, you know, by beta 4, you're going to be able to have all the documentation that will show you how everything works. So if people want to keep up to date with um, everything that's going on, I know you've got some Facebook groups and all that now as well. What's the best place to find out? Uh, right now, the best place to go is uh, on Facebook because we're posting almost every day some new stuff. Um, also, um, uh, if you want to uh, reach us, uh, go to the friend up channel on uh, Freenode, 
Uh, if you're a beta tester, then you can uh, launch Hello and go into the friend up channel, and you know most of the development team will hang out there almost the entire day. So that would be the best way. And and it's also really cool because uh, you can also now launch video chats from the IRC channel. No so way. so you can and and you have now private chat and you have uh, actions and you have uh, you you can you know do everything with the IRC channel. Uh, and add your own channels, and so so basically, Hello is getting to a state where uh, it is a fully featured uh, IRC application, and more to come. Actually, we're going to add in some some uh, uh, social functions like sharing calendar events and uh, and uh, other things that will pop up inside the IRC that you need the Hello to to uh, make use of. Just speaking to someone who's you know been a geek all my life. And remember, hanging out on IRC when I was in my teens. I think it's cool that you've kind of based it on that foundation. That's awesome. Oh, we're not the only ones. Um, there's this uh, business um, application out there that's called Slack. A lot mm. of uh, people use this. Uh, it's it's really huge. And they started it out as an IRC channel uh, or a IRC uh, application, and then they added features on top of that. And that's actually what we're also doing with Hello. Video chat and IRC. Never thought I'd see that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of, and of course, the official website that is there, friendos.com. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much for catching up with us again, Hogner. And uh, we'll no doubt catch up with you very soon. And if people want to try Beta 3, um, just head to the website. Oh, just head to the website, sign up if you haven't, and you're going to get a username and password on email. <laughs>